Hello, welcome to the daily English language news program on Azerbaijan television with the most important events of the day. I'm your host, Ilham Ahmadov. According to the order of the President of the Republic of Azerbaijan, Supreme Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces, Ilham Ali, worked to improve the combat training and social life conditions of servicemen serving in the liberated territories is underway. Within the framework of this process, new military facilities were put into operation in Kalbajar. There are barracks, canteen, food storage, weapons room, baths and laundry facilities to meet all the necessary needs of servicemen. Generators have been installed to provide the area with uninterrupted electricity. Presentation of Zafar.az website took place at the Haydar Aliyev Center. The portal created with the support of the Haydar Aliyev Center, the Center for Social Research and the Media Development Agency, is dedicated to the victory of the Azerbaijani people in the patriotic war. It is planned to operate the site originally created in the Azerbaijani language also in English and Russian. As it can be seen from the video, the logo of the site combines three elements and symbolizes the past of the victory covered by our people in 44 days. The site can be called a virtual chronicle, an encyclopedia of the Azerbaijani people's past to victory, for which they have been preparing for three decades and which they gained in 44 days. Speaking about the idea and goals of Zafar.az, Deputy Head of the Department of the Presidential Administration for Work with Non-Governmental Organizations and Communications, Saadat Yusifova, stressed that this platform was of great importance in terms of perpetuating our victory. It was noted that the victory was followed by military, political and diplomatic, as well as important economic results. It was emphasized that 2020 was the year when our glorious victory was inscribed in history, and 2021 was the year when the results of this victory were recognized by the world. Saadat Yusifova said that our mission was to convey to the world everything from the original source without distortion. Chairman of the board of the Center for Social Research, Chairman of the Committee of the Milimajinist Zahid Oruj, noted that the Zafar.az information platform opens up great opportunities for uniting the creative forces and energy of millions of Azerbaijanis, turning every page of the 44-day war into history. Creation of hundreds of literary, artistic, scientific works, writing of memoirs, transferring all these annals into the history, which tells about the heroism of our army, all this poses important ask for present and future generations. Sabina Hasanova, a representative of the Azvision.az site, who presented the site, spoke about the idea and concept of this electronic resource. The portal, which includes a total of 12 sections, 4,000 pages in 62 subsections, 7,765 images, and 757 videos, is a virtual chronicle of the 44-day patriotic war of Azerbaijan. <laughs> Vasif Dilaverzada, a captain of the Special Forces, veteran of the Patriotic War, noted that the reflection on the pages of the site of information related to the Patriotic War and the Great Return is a special and invaluable event. Website Yolomuzgarabagat.az, created for regular tours to the liberated territories of Azerbaijan, was launched on January 21st. Anyone who has reached the age of 18 may purchase tickets in these directions after being registered on the portal created by the Azerbaijan Land Transport Agency with the technical support of the Electronic Government Development Center. Regular intercity bus routes to Agdam and Shusha will be organized starting from January 24th. The one-way cost on the baku shusha baku route will be 10 manats for Gepix. On the baku Agdam baku route, 9 manats for Gepix. Also from January 24th, Ahmed Bayli Shusha, Fizuli International Airport, Shusha and Barda Agdam routes will be opened. A bilateral commission on delimitation and demarcation of the Azerbaijani-Armenian border should be created and launched as soon as possible. We are ready to provide advisory assistance to official Baku and Yerevan in this process, Foreign Minister of Russia Sergei Lavrov told during the press conference. He added that all those who want to join the process of normalizing relations between Azerbaijan and Armenia should proceed from the party's interests stemming from the above-mentioned trilateral agreements. 
The minister also stressed that this year marks the 30th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations between Russia and many CIS countries, including Azerbaijan. We are preparing a series of anniversary events. Given the cultural and educational nature of these events, we think they will be of interest to the public. Britain is ready to work with Azerbaijan to ensure its successful chairmanship of the OEC Forum for Security Cooperation. British Ambassador to Azerbaijan James Sharp wrote on Twitter, The British diplomat congratulated Azerbaijan on its chairmanship of the OEC Forum for Security Cooperation. We support Azerbaijan's priorities on arms control, women, peace and security. We look forward to Azerbaijan's implementation of the action plan, the ambassador stressed. The moratorium on inspections in the field of entrepreneurship is proposed to be extended for another year until January 1st, 2023. Discussions on this took place in the Millimages Committee on Economic Policy, Industry and Entrepreneurship. At the first meeting of the committee in the framework of the spring session, the plan of its work for the current year was also approved. It was noted that during the session it is planned to prepare bills on pawn shops, on appraisal activity, and a number of other new draft laws. Along with this, the working plan includes a discussion of draft laws submitted as a legislative initiative, documents and amendments to existing laws. During the session, a number of meetings with entrepreneurs, representatives of non-governmental organizations, public hearings are also planned. The deputies recommended for discussion at the plenary session of the Millennium a draft law on amending the law on suspension of inspections in the sphere of entrepreneurship. The organization of the petroleum exporting countries is satisfied with cooperation with Azerbaijan. President of Azerbaijan, Ilham Aliyev, was the first leader who called on all the OPEC member states and non-OPEC countries at the World Economic Forum to stabilize the world oil market in 2016 to join efforts and work together. Secretary General of the Organization of the Petroleum Exporting Countries, Mohammad Barkindo, sat at the meeting with Azerbaijani Foreign Minister Jehun Bayramov. The OPEC Plus format was created in a short period of time in December 2016 through the support of the President of Azerbaijan, Barkindo added. The Secretary General said that the joint activity in the OPEC Plus format contributed to the stabilization of prices on the world oil markets. That was all for the day. Thank you for being with us. Goodbye.